So hello and welcome to Cracksoid. Today in this video, I'm going to give you the in-depth review of Dot Face Room, which is based on Android version 13. So let's start the video. As you can see here, this is Dot Face Room, which is based on Android version 13. And I'm going to give you the review of this room. It has the Android security update of December 5, 2022. And this is the latest update for now. And it has Quicksilver kernel installed in it. Now I will go to the home setting of this room and you can see there is themed icon available and at last you can see there is dark status bar option is available and when you enable this dark status bar then your status bar will be dark color as you can see here on the screen. So now let's talk about its camera. As you can see here there are two camera available in this room. So first one is MIUI camera and which works perfectly in this room. Even 48 megapixel camera works perfectly in this room. Also there is another camera and this also works perfectly and also you can install Gcam in it. Now I will show you the quick setting of this room and the quick setting looks something like this and it has all the necessary feature in it. And now I will show you the Antutu benchmark score of this room and you can see here the Antutu benchmark score is very high which is 2,5385 which is very good score. So now I will go inside its setting section. So at first there is network and internet and inside network and internet you will find private DNS option. So now I'll go back and I'll enter into Dorf space setting. There you will find lots of customization here and there is battery setting available and from here you can change the battery status style and battery percentage. And inside clock and date setting you will find background chip option which will display accented chip behind the clock and this looks something like this. And similarly, there are some status bar item settings, traffic indicator and miscellaneous. Inside miscellaneous, you will find logo option and from here you can change lots of logo style. So these are the logo style here and you can choose anyone you like. And inside miscellaneous, you will find notification count option and this will display the number of pending notifications. And now I will go inside the quick setting option and inside quick setting, you will find brightness slider position and you can choose between top and bottom. Also, you can show brightness slider in QS panel also you can enable auto brightness button and below there is footer option and from here you can enable show QS footer text and you can even customize your footer text and this will show here at last you will find the option for vibration and this is vibration on touch and when you touch QS style you will feel vibration now I will go to the system setting of this dwarf space and inside customization you will find Wi-Fi icon, signal icon and icon shape. You can see here there are unique Wi-Fi icons available which looks completely unique. Also similarly there is signal icon and from here you can choose between different types of signals. You can see here lots of signal network signal icons available and which is really unique and cool to see. And also there is icon shape and you can choose between different icon shape. Now I will go back to notification setting and there is blink flashlight for incoming call option available and you can enable this setting if you want to. Now I will go to the battery setting and you can see here there are lots of battery setting available. You can see the battery uses of this phone. You can see there is daily battery usage chart, battery charge warning, battery saver, adaptive battery, battery charging light, battery optimization, block sensors, click background processes, sleep mode and battery temperature option available and the battery backup of this room is really good. And similarly, there is wallpaper and style section available and which has lots of feature in it. There is dark theme, themed icon, app grid, system font, system icon pack available. And you can also change between different wallpaper and basic colors. Now I will go to the security setting and inside security, you can see there is face and finger lock option available. Also inside encryption, you can see the device is encrypted. Also, you can see inside play protect certification device is certified inside Google Play Store. Google Play Store is also certified here. Now I will go back and there is Xiaomi Fast option available which has MI sound enhancer, clear speaker, display color calibration, LCD features and vibration control option available. Now I will go to the system setting and there is languages and input option available. And here you can see there is app language option available and from here you can set the language for each app. And similarly there is gestures and motion option available and from here you can enable swipe to screenshot option and also enable or disable this brightness control option. Also there is quickly open camera available and to quickly open camera press the power button twice and this works on any screen. And at last I will go to the button section and you can see lots of buttons features are available in it. And from here you can enable this long press for torch option which will activate the torch by long pressing the power button while display is off. 
also there is dot face updater option available and from here you can check for the newer update and update to the latest version of dot face directly from here so these are the all the features available in this dot face drone also there is a widget from here you can directly open youtube and source from here so this is all about the dot face room which is based on android version 13 and i have installed this room on my redmi note 8. this room has lots of features inside it and the battery backup of this room is also really good and i can suggest you this room to use as a daily driver so thank you for watching this video i will see you in my next video